Hi everyone and a big welcome back to my channel. Now I decided to do another Kirby page for you and this is from Fragile Worlds. Now I think with the Kirby pages because you know they do, they do take a little bit longer I think it is better to do it in a time lapse and then me explaining over the video you know what I'm doing. So I chose this eel page. Now I initially had an idea for the background, I was going to do a black background, realistic eels with white acrylic over what's meant to be um, the white bits of water at the top, like the splashes and stuff. But I decided to sort of opposite, why do I have to do everything realistic all the time? So I completely went out of my comfort zone and thought, you know what, I'm going to do rainbow eels. Now the watercolour that I'm using is the Rembrandt uh, brand. Now I do like to change up my watercolours from uh, really affordable ones to expensive ones, it just depends on what, what mood I'm in and if I've not used a pa palette in a little while I'll pull it out and get some use out of it. Now I'm just using all the different colours of the rainbow, mixing colours as well, I'm showing you here that I'm listening to Master of Puppets by Metallica. Um, I did know that song and uh, the other, my favourite one actually is Sandman. Uh, by Metallica but I recently have been binge watching uh, Stranger Things again <laughs> so uh, I've been listening to, to that song quite often quite often so back to the painting now I've not primed or gessoed or there's nothing on this paper sometimes I do sometimes I don't again it all depends on my mood Now these Rembrandt watercolours are, you know, the beautiful to use, but would I recommend them just for somebody who just wants to colour in colouring books? Probably not. For the price of them, you can get some really budget friendly paints that are, I don't want to say just as good, but they act differently. Now if you're new to watercolour, I would recommend the Winsor & Newton Cotman watercolour paints. If you want something a little bit nicer than that, the professional range by Windsor and Newton are really, really nice as well. Actually, they're one of my favourites, uh, even out of all the really expensive watercolour paint that I've managed to accumulate because of all the galaxies that I've been painting. But yeah, I wouldn't uh, go out of my way just to buy this paint just for uh, colouring books. I tend to do, I, I use it a lot on uh, watercolour paper. And I treated myself one day. I mean, if, if you want to do that, then fine. But if you're asking me, then I'd probably go with uh, the Cotman's or the Professional by Windsor & Newton. So I'm not too worried about this base layer. This is just to get rid of the white of the paper because I end up going over with pencil anyway. And I did plan on doing all these fancy little details, but I didn't. And I'm glad that I didn't because it took not as long, actually. I think it took me about an hour an hour-ish to do this page all together which considering there is a lot of detail and I ended up adding um, like a metallic it is a metallic watercolour but it it looks like almost glittery you'll see that towards the the end of the video and I do uh, show you in real time the sparkle on the page I should have mentioned as well that I'm uh, taking the colour directly from the pan. I'm not put, putting it on a palette or anything because I sometimes just feel that that wastes the paint. So I'm moulding my brush up and then popping it in different areas of the same eel that I want to paint just to spread that paint out a little bit more then add a little bit of water as I go. So I'm not adding, I'm not constantly adding because I don't want to get to the next colour and then waste all that paint on, on the brush. So that's the way that I've found, as long as you're quick, as long as you're quick because you don't want to pop it there and then go off and do something else because it would have dried and then uh, you, you, you could activate it again but you'd probably get like a stain sort of thing especially with these paints because they are super, super pigmented but I wouldn't recommend that, I'd just, if you're working with watercolour just work as quick as possible, I mean don't rush it but don't take your fine time either
we're coming close to the end of the actual watercolour part of this and if you notice can you spy an area that I missed of course of course that I missed a little section let me know in the comments if you notice it when the watercolour part is finished because I end up having to go back and fix that problem and I did that off camera because it was such a small area but I won't say what it is it's like a little bit of a puzzle and I'll um, I'll comment back to say that you're right uh, I'm switching overnight to Americana uh, Deco Art I think it is black acrylic uh, I did pop a little bit of tape down there as well I was recommended this tape by a friend and it is very very good very good it still ripped one of my <laughs> pages uh, but it's better than some of the masking tape uh, that I have been using in the past. Now I'm just filling in all the, the gaps with the black acrylic. You can see me there wiping my arm because I thumbed my arm in the paint that was still wet. Apparently I can't wait for it to dry. So this is the blackest, mattest black that I've come across. I mean I've not, because I'm so happy with this paint, I've not felt the need to go and try all different brands. But yeah, I really do recommend this paint. I have to order it off Amazon and then pay extra, a little bit extra for shipping, but I don't mind that because it's a big bottle and it lasts. It lasts this bottle actually has probably lasted me about a year and I use it a lot. I use it a lot. And then I use the same brand but in a white as well. Very soon.
was dreading to do dreading doing this part actually because I thought oh gosh it's going to be so tedious and boring doing the same black over and over again but actually because it was so mindless I did really enjoy it I just had my music on and I weren't even thinking about anything and I was just getting that black down now I've moved to the Arteza uh, pencils now just normal pencils not watercolour ones um, and the reason that I'm using a more budget friendly one is because now that the watercolour is dry and it's down on the paper it's it gives the paper a little bit more of a tooth so let's say I was using my luminance or light fast pencils or polychromos even it would eat away a little bit more at their pencils and obviously I don't want to keep having to replace the expensive branded ones so I'm using more of a budget friendly one this time and the RTs pencils are quite nice actually especially for this sort of uh, colouring style doing a very 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 minimal work with the pencils to be honest I'm just finding the matching colour in my set the closest colour and then work Kirby's already put uh, I don't want to say grayscale but it does more line out of the um, I don't know is it cross hatch hatching that sort of thing I just go over them areas just to add a little bit of depth I was uh, past wanting to do all the details after all in different colours and then doing all the black and then the white's coming up soon. I would always recommend as well if you're using acrylic paint, do not use your nice watercolour brushes, it will destroy them. Now with this white acrylic paint I wanted to keep it quite uh, messy, I didn't want to stick to the lines, I wanted to make them rough, like rough edges because when you look at water it's not got perfect lines everywhere, I mean I know it's not a realistic picture, there's rainbow eels in it but still, <laughs> try and make it somewhat realistic and I ended up uh, water watering this down slightly as well and uh, putting splatters on the page. So at this point, the messier the better to get them rough edges. Now, if you haven't already, my little bell there popping up, please do go ahead and subscribe. I'm not just uh, an art channel, I do diamond painting. Technically that's classed as art, never. <laughs> I occasionally do vlogs as well of me and my family. Um, and anything crafty really, I, I enjoy all sorts and you're more than welcome to join here. So please do subscribe.
So all my white splatters again. Can't help myself, can I? So we switched over now to the Renaissance watercolours. I'll leave the shop, the Etsy shop, in the description. There's a couple of different colours I've used here, pinks, blues and the liquid chrome. Now I do have Instagram as well. I do have Instagram, so if you want to follow me on there, I do show like behind the scenes and that sort of thing if you're interested. But that liquid chrome really does add a lovely, lovely sparkle to the page. It's the camera really really doesn't do it justice that liquid chrome stuff i've actually ordered another one because i'm halfway through that one but thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye